Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I'm continuing in my series of very short introductions to some of the uh, luminaries of, uh, of uh, Jewish uh, literary uh, history, the commentaries, the sages, the great people, the righteous people. And uh, uh, we did a video on Rashi, uh, a medieval commentator, about a thousand years ago, 100 years later approximately, the Rambam, Rabbi Moses ben Maimon. Now, 100 years later, the Ramban, Rabbi Moses ben Nachman. Now, remember these names, Rambam, uh, Ramban, they're uh, acronyms of the person's name. In this case, Ramban, Rabbi Moses ben Nachman. He lived from 1194 to 1270. Uh, he was a leading uh, medieval uh, commentator, philosopher, uh, uh, physician, uh, and uh, uh, a Mekubal, uh, a Kabbalist, uh, and um, a religious commentator. His commentaries to, uh, uh, to the Torah are outstanding. He was born and lived uh, he had most of his life in Girona, uh, in, that's in the northeast corner of what is now Spain, in the province of uh, Catalonia. He was the rabbi of Girona and the chief rabbi of, uh, uh, of Catalonia. Um, he's probably most famous for his participation in the disputation at Barcelona. This is a, a debate held between uh, the church, uh, represented by Pablo Cristiani, uh, may his name be blotted out, and uh, the Ramban, uh, who was defending uh, Judaism against the charges of the church. It was held before uh, King James of Aragon. Um, uh, it was in 1263. Uh, King uh, James declared, pronounced um, that uh, the Ramban was the winner, gave him 300 uh, gold pieces as a, uh, as a prize, as a reward. Uh, the, the church was not happy. Uh, I think we, we could put that mildly. They were not happy. They forced the king actually to expel uh, the Ramban, and the Ramban uh, went to, uh, to Israel. And uh, he was um, an important figure in the reestablishment uh, re of uh, Jerusalem after the destruction uh, by the Crusaders in uh, 1099. He spent the last years of his life uh, uh, there. And um, the Ramban... Um, his perception, his arguments, his, uh, his points of view, his way of cutting through uh, problems and explaining things clearly and rationally uh, is rarely uh, paralleled in, uh, in uh, Jewish history. And um, we owe, Judaism owes uh, Ramban uh, a great debt for his, uh, his knowledge and also his sacrifices. Um, the, the the Jewish community in Spain was uh, was worried that he was doing so well that uh, pogroms uh, would start and that the church would uh, would impose them more. As a matter of fact, that they urged uh, Ramban to stop the dispute, but King James insisted that he go on and he won. Um, the church, of course, said that no, they won, and. Um, they attacked the Ramban because although King James gave him freedom of speech during the debate, as a response to the church saying that they won, uh, the Ramban felt uh, compelled to publish his own account, and he didn't have freedom of speech for written things, and that's how the church uh, convinced uh, the king to have him expelled. The Ramban, one of the great shining leaders, um, uh, and not only a religious leader, but in terms of, of education uh, and a defender, a true defender of the faith. We're going to be uh, doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immortal Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.